hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, today I am going to do a video that I am very excited about doing. Um, it's something that I actually have been thinking about for weeks now and um, I was able to gather a couple ideas uh, together and I think today is the day. Um, about probably three weeks ago I was on Snapchat and I saw this awesome goth um, filter and I did mention that in my e.l.f. Uh, lipstick try on video and I showed you guys kind of a preview um, and I mentioned that in that video that a couple people had told me I should try out a goth look um, and so I thought you know what today will be that day that I try out a goth look um, so I'm very excited about this because I'm going to be trying out a few products that I keep hearing about that I haven't ha actually had the chance to get my hands on yet um, and now they are in my hands um, the first thing I'm going to be using today that I'm very very stoked about is the Urban Decay Electric Palette um, I know you guys have heard about this. I mean, it's been buzzing online, um, but it's got all these amazing bright, bright colors. And as you can see, it actually still has the plastic on it. Like I have not even swatched one of these colors. It's almost like a little kid, like being told not to touch something. Like I've been like, <laughs> you know, but I thought I would save the reveal and my first use um, of this palette for this video. Um, another thing that I picked up that I keep hearing raves about, um, which I don't know where I'm gonna incorporate it in the video, but I know I have to use it it's just beautiful. Um, it's by Stila. Um, it's called the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And honestly, oh, I have not even tried this. It just looks so beautiful and dimensional. And I might use that on my inner corner. I'm not sure. I might swatch it on my hand just to kind of see how strong it is because I don't want it to take over the entire look because um, we are just going to go for like a kind of a bluey, purpley type um, tone color today. Um, I don't know if you watched my e.l.f. lipstick video, but one of the colors I tried on was um, called Vampy Violet, and this is what that color looks like. It's basically like a really dark plum, um, so I'll be using that on my lips. But yeah, so I have to admit, because that palette is so incredibly out of my comfort comfort zone, um, I really did not even know where to begin with it or what to do. Um, so I was able to look on Instagram and YouTube, and I found this um, awesome channel. Um, it's a girl. Her name is Emily Noel 83 and she's um, that's her name on Instagram and YouTube. Um, and she actually did a entire um, thing on where she did like several looks with the electric palette. Um, so I was able to actually choose my favorite out of her looks and um, she has a website it's a uh, beautybroadcast.net and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions so I'm like well this girl knows what's up um, so I'm definitely gonna be tagging her in this so she gets credit because this is hundred percent her look um, but yeah so I will be following Emily Noel 83's um, advice with the electric palette today um, just to give you a quick visual of what I'm gonna be following um, this is the look that I'm gonna go for it's kind Um, so I love that she gives you step-by-step -step instructions that obviously takes the guesswork out of everything. Um, so I actually looked through the instructions and I took some quick Cliff's notes. Um, I guess it was kind of like a little assignment for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually just going to dive on in and I'm going to start on the look that I just showed you. Um, the very first step that she said that she did was she put a white matte shadow stick all over her lid and inner corner. The only thing I could really find even remotely close to what she described um, was this. It's like a kind of a, a liquid tattoo metal 24 hour wear uh, shadow. It's like cream. And yeah, it definitely is in the neutral family and it also is a shimmer. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, work with what I have. Um, so she says to basically dab this all over the lid in the inner corner. Um, so this is what it looks like. Again, it's kind of like a metallic um, neutral color. So I think that might be a nice base regardless. Um, so I'm just going to tap my finger in there and get some of the product on. And as she says, I am just going to dab it all over the lid and the inner corner. So let me dig into that. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I dabbed that all over my lid and in my inner corner. Um, I don't know, I feel like her initial picture was like more of an icy look, um, and this is more of a neutral. I mean, it does have great pigmentation, but it's just not really the color I'm going for. So I want to maybe, I want to ice it up, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm actually going to put something over it that is a mineral eye color by Mary Kay, and it's obviously an icy color. It's very close. Ooh, I didn't realize that was loose. Let me take that out. Um, you can just see it's just a beautiful metallic -y white. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's just very pigmented and gorgeous. So I'm actually going to pat this over this and um, just to kind of give it that icy look that we're going for, just to kind of give it that icy look that we're going for, and I will be right back. 
Okay guys, I definitely think that added an icy look to it. Um, I did forget to mention the color name of that eyeshadow I just used. It's called Crystalline, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. I don't know if you can read that. Crystalline by Mary Kay. That's an awesome color. It's really pigmented and it's exactly what I was going for. Um, so we are going to go ahead and jump into step two. Um, step two is neutrals. Um, put a shimmery white all over the lid and then a cool brown on the crease. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette. Um, this is something I actually have not used that much to be honest. Um, I've had it for a while but it's got some pretty cool colors in there. Um, so I think for the shimmery white all over the lid, I feel like we just did that. Um, so I think I'm just going to hop in with the cool brown tone. Um, I believe what I'm going to use for that is this color right here. I'm going to just take a random fluffy brush and I'm just going to dip into that cool brown matte color. And like she mentions in her directions, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe that um, in my crease. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added that cool brown tone in my crease. Um, it didn't do a whole lot, but I don't really think there's, it's supposed to be much to it. I think it's just to kind of build off of. Um, so next is where the fun part begins. Um, that's where we're gonna dig into the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So I'm very excited about that. Um, it says, put Urban on the lid, starting in the outer corner and work your way inward to create a gradient effect. Um, so I actually don't even know what Urban is. I'm going to find out with you. Okay, it looks like Urban is this color right here, this beautiful, purpley kind of bluey indigo color um, wow that is just so pigmented I can't get over it I can't wait to see how it looks in the skin um, so I'm just gonna take a just some average flat brush that I've never used before and um, it says put urban on the lid starting in the outer corner and work your way inward um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some urban and I don't know how much this fallout this is gonna be but because this is pretty serious when it comes to pigmentation and I'm already done with my foundation. Um, I do have one of these little cute pad things to kind of go like this and, and catch any fallout that, that there may be. Um, but we're just going to kind of feel things out and see how they go. Um, so I'm going to put Urban in my outer corner right now and work it inward. Oh, that's very pretty. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to do that to both eyes. Actually, there's not even that much fallout, but I didn't even really get started yet. So let me go ahead and do that to both eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and used Urban um, in my outer corner and then I went ahead and did like a darker and then lighter and then I didn't touch the inner corner. So I kept that icy white. Um, I wasn't having a lot of luck with the gradient effect. So I went ahead and threw on some Jilted on the um, center of my lid just to kind of, you know, continue on with the gradient effect. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like so far. Um, I should, probably could do a little bit more blending now that I'm getting up close and personal. Um, but yeah, I think the pigment is pretty awesome on this palette so far. Um, so let's see what we have going on next. Um, next she says she adds a black liquid liner to her upper lash line. Um, so I am actually going to use an old favorite, which is by Maybelline. It's called Line Stiletto, and it's the Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner. And um, I am not the best at doing liner on camera, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this real fast, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did a um, top eyeliner. Um, for the next step, it says to put a blue NYX eyeliner in your waterline. And I did not have a blue liner. Um, I know that she's talking about a crayon liner or you know, a pencil liner. The only NYX liner that I had was that was even close to blue was one I had actually done a video on, and it's the NYX Vivid Brights. Um, I think it's called, what was it, Vivid Sapphire? Yes, is it Vivid Sapphire. This is actually gorgeous. Um, so I don't know how this is going to work in my waterline. I'm just going to give it a shot for, for funsies right now um, because for her look, what she had was like purple up top and then down underneath the lash, and the lower lash line, it was kind of like a, a blue look, um, a blue tone. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put this in my waterline just very light-handedly because I know this stuff is crazy, crazy pigmented. I don't want it to steal the entire show. Um, but yeah, so let me just go ahead and get this going in my waterline. I have blue in my eyeball. This is not going to work. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that was a tried and tested fail. Do not ever use this in your waterline. I just had to basically put Visine in and I still have remnants of blue on my eyeball. So 
I was just the guinea pig for that one and now you know to not ever put that in your waterline. Um, I went back through my makeup collection to make sure I didn't have any blue liners and I definitely don't. Um, I did find kind of like a teal emerald kind of uh, liner which I'm just going to toss on at this point because I just want to get this look completed. Um, but it is by Rimmel London. It's called Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and it's an emerald sparkle. And I have used this in a previous video. I can't recall exactly which one at the moment, but I do remember using this. Um, but yeah, so I, it's kind of just a green sparkly color. Um, I know we're going for a blue and purple look, but uh, blue liner is not working in my favor right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this green in my waterline and just cross my fingers that it works. So here we go. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put the Emerald Sparkle in my lower waterline. It is kind of a green color, but um, you know what? It's not so bad. Um, so let's just proceed with the next step. Okay, so the next step says use an angled brush and apply chaos on the lower lash line and smudge. So what is chaos? Chaos is this bright, bright blue color. Ooh, this is gonna be a very colorful look. <laughs> We're not necessarily going for the Skittle look, but uh, you never know how it might turn out. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and with Chaos, um, I'm going to use this little angled brush just like they recommended. Um, and so I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to go ahead and just smudge it on my lower lash line. Oh my gosh. Holy macaroni. Okay. This stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do the other eye. Okay guys, wow. <laughs> I went ahead and smudged chaos in my lower lash line and honestly I feel like it's taking over the entire thing. Like it doesn't even look goth anymore. It kind of looks like a almost like a mermaid look or something, which is not a bad thing, um, but that was not what I was going for. Um, so I think, let me, actually, let me just check to make sure there's no more steps. Um, after you smudge chaos in the lower lash line, then add mascara or falsies. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and take advantage of this Stila uh, Magnificent Metals. I've been dying to use it and I don't know. I just feel like I could use a little bit of a, like a metal look, if you will. Um, but yeah, this is my first time opening it, so this is actually a kind of a reveal with you guys. Um, but you open it up, oh, and it has like kind of like a paddly, um, you know, very flexible type applicator. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Ooh, wow, that is just gorgeous. Holy crap. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is actually put that only on our inner corner. Um, we're going to keep it specifically over this white color. Um, we're just trying to take some attention off of the lower lash line at this point because it's definitely, you know, the star. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just apply some of this. I didn't even tell you actually the color is called Smoky Storm. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my inner corner and hope that it gives me that pop that I'm looking for. So let's see how this goes. Wow, you guys, this is exactly what I was looking for. Look at this stuff. It's amazing. Like, oh my goodness. It looks so grungy and like rocky right now. Like, I feel like I should be like, yeah, whoa. You know, seriously, like, holy cow. Just to remind you, this was the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow by Stila. Um, I just applied that over the inner corner and the inner inner corner, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I really love that. I, I really think that it still looks a little bit colorful and not as dark as I was hoping for. Um, but I think probably when I toss on some mascara and that dark vampy lip color, it'll probably tie everything... <clears throat> It'll probably tie everything together um, as far as goth goes. Um, I also forgot to mention to you guys that I went ahead and took things an extra step. And to complete this look, I will be going next level. Um, and so to find out what that means, just keep watching because at the end you're... It's actually kind of funny, but I thought it was pretty cool. So what I'm actually going to do is throw on some mascara really quick. And then I will come back on camera and do the vampy lip color. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that I threw on some mascara, I think it definitely completed the eye look. Um, I wouldn't say this is necessarily goth. Um, like I told you, it's kind of almost like a mermaid color, which now I'm bummed because I didn't think of that ahead of time. <laughs> but um, no, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to complete the entire look with the Vampy Violet uh, by e.l.f. It's from the Velvet Matte Lip Collection. And I'm just gonna toss this on. It's a very, very dark color. Obviously, Vampy is in the name, so it's gonna be dark. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna toss this on and Things are about to get real. 
All right, guys. Well, this is my official goth grunge look. Um, I am going to show you the filter I was trying to copy right now. And there's one thing that the filter has that I don't, and that is a septum piercing, um, which is probably something I would never in my life do, uh, but I felt like it would just complete the entire goth feel for the look. So without further ado, let's get this thing rolling and let me put on my septum piercing. Be right back. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, shit just got real. This went from a Skittle Mermaid look to a hardcore grungy goth look, yeah! Um, obviously, this is not real. I just purchased this for $5 on eBay, um, and I thought it was really close to the actual one that was on the filter. Um, so I ordered it, I got it in a few days, um, and I thought, you know what? That this is this is what's up. This is gonna tell people this is goth for sure. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an up close and personal look at my goth try. I mean, this is my attempt at looking like a hardcore, um, grungy, you know, gothy type person, um, which is gorgeous, by the way, but it just happens to be outside of what I normally do. Um, but yeah, so I think that this actually is pretty cool. Um, wow, I'm actually really impressed with the outcome. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, I it was a lot of reveals. We revealed the Stila, um, the glitter eyeshadow, we revealed the electric palette from Urban Decay, um, and I also put a septum piercing in my nose for the first time. A fake one, just to clarify. Yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I also wanted to mention that I am doing a giveaway, and I will be announcing the winner April 10th. It is open internationally, so check out my last video for details on that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.